Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our continuing video user guide for APT where this time we're going to be taking a look at the histograms available. Uh, there are two different types of histogram depending on the type of camera you've got connected. Uh, the DSLR version runs with your Nikon or Canon cameras and a FITS version for using a dedicated Astro cam. So we're going to kick this off by getting straight in and having a look at the DSLR version. So here we are in DSLR mode of APT with a poorly exposed image of uh, M31, the Andromeda Galaxy that I took probably about four months ago uh, when I got away for a little while. I should have done twice the uh, ISO, put it up to 3200 and probably lifted the uh, exposures another 30 to 60 seconds, but I didn't do that. Now, you, to get to the histograms, uh, you have several choices. You have it here at the bottom of your summary tab. Uh, in the tools tab at the very top you've got it up there and you can also access it by using the alt h shortcut as so so now I'm just going to zoom in on this so we can have a look at uh, what exactly we've got and we'll work on it from there so what you have here is displayed the red green blue and a luminance channel um, what you can work on depends on what you've selected down here if you leave it like it is without the RGB highlighted any stretching and everything you do will be done only on the luminance channel but if you select RGB then it is applied in individually to each channel now the first button we have is the log button which is just a logarithmic display of the data um, I'll just leave that off for now so we can see what's going on then you have your auto stretch button now this can be configured in your APT settings on the advanced tab uh, how much stretch you want to apply I've actually lowered mine down from the default because I found the default overexposes the image and uh, so if I hit auto stretch and there you go it's done an auto stretch and that's just on the luminance channel so I'm going to clear that from a minute which is what this C button does and switch to the RGB which is a better way to look at your images and if you apply an auto stretch to that what you get is a per channel auto stretch now this purplish area on the right here that's your white balance uh, your white point and a black on the outside. so you can only just see it I'll show you better in a moment but on the left hand side you have the same thing for your black point and uh, you can see the huge difference between doing the RGB one and just doing one on the log um, so RGB if you're going to do it is much better um, whether it's auto stretching or doing a manual stretch so I'm just going to leave it on the RGB now and just show you how to do a manual stretch and that's quite simple to set the white point on any channel and you need to do this on each channel unless you turn off RGB then it will only work on the luminance so on each channel to set the white point double click and to set the black point you hold down shift and double click with the left mouse button so let's step through here I'm just going to do each channel so as you can see it only applies to one channel uh, and you can vary it how you want uh, I think a little bit more red in there maybe just a touch more blue and then you can go and hold down shift and double click again and set the black point so there's the black point on my red black point on my green and a black point on my blue and there you go I don't think that looks too bad it's probably a little bit too bright so I could probably uh, step these back a bit and to change them you simply just double click again where you want it and yeah that's not too bad I guess do a lot more with it now to clear these you've got a choice you can either hit C and that'll clear both your white and your black but if you want to clear just the white or just the black uh, it's a case of uh, double right clicking for the white balance and shift double right clicking for the black so I'll, I'll do it on the green here I'll just double click with the right mouse key and that clears it and shift double click will clear the black point or hit C and that clears them all and that's really all I can show you for the uh, histograms at the moment 
this does have a live view button so when you're running live view it can apply your settings to the images in your live view but just be noted that uh, it can slow down your live view image capture if you apply too much of a stretch on them so just be aware of that but that's it for the histogram in the uh, DSLR mode just give me a second and I'm going to stop this one and come back with the uh, other mode we have which is for your fits files be right back so here we are with the histogram for a dedicated astro cam that works with your fits images um, it can be accessed exactly the same way as the other one uh, through your tools tab uh, through the summary menu or alt h will open it again so let's zoom in and see what we've got here um, it's pretty basic how it works very simple uh, you have a logarithmic view if you want to use that uh, you have an auto stretch left and an auto stretch right now if you have a single peak of data like this generally the auto stretch left will work best to do the auto stretch uh, the auto stretch right on its own doesn't do too well there it actually just moves the black point so I'll clear that out and as you see auto stretch left but it depends on what your data is doing if you have multiple points um, you may be better off using auto stretch right the only time I really ever even consider using auto stretch right for most of my images is when I use the local button and what that does here you have a range and this is your ADU range for the image um, as you can see it's not quite zero so it's not on the left totally on the left if you hit local it will only display the range that's used rather than the total range for the camera and if you hit auto stretch right when you're in that mode big difference so that's you know how you do it is up to you I find it easier just to use the auto stretch left when I'm like this but you may need to try things out to see how it goes and of course you've got your clear button as well now you can also manually set your uh, white and black point and it's the same as the other one um, double click with your left mouse button and you'll set a white point uh, shift double click will set a black point oh, I'm gonna get this close to this there you go now additionally if you use this little drop down button here you have manual controls down here that can increment in your uh, settings so even on the course setting it can be coarse or fine even on the course setting it doesn't move it a lot but it does make a little bit of difference and the black one in a little bit more and there we go and then you can fine tune it using the fine if that's what you want to do but that's just one way to do it uh, I'm gonna double click over here oh a bit too much now but uh, like I said you can adjust it however you like that way and that's just how it works but that's all there is to this uh, again clear clears everything and sets it back how it was now just a note with all this um, that if you open your APT with a one type of camera you cannot access the uh, histogram for the other type of camera even if you have a uh, image that you download and put it in so I'll go in here to camera one uh, M31 images here and I can double click on one of these but the histogram does absolutely nothing so you must have the right type of camera connected or be selected for the right type of camera I could go in here I'll do it anyway so I'll go into cam um, hold down shift connect and instead I'll pick an EOS camera click OK and as you see I've now got the right histogram but that's not really what I want to use anyway this profile is my uh, CMOS camera so I need to go back um, oh, it's not going to light me because the camera is not connected oh it might because it's plugged in I think oh, there we go my camera is connected now so and then it's switched back to the correct one so there you go so just a note on that that you need to make sure you've either a go in and connect the right type of camera or attempt to connect the right type of camera if you haven't got one plugged in or B just start it in the profile for the appropriate camera but that's it for your live view uh, sorry for your histogram um, I hope that's helped some people and I wish you all clear skies and I will see you in the next video take care everyone bye